Hi, I'm Kelly McCarran, and this is the Zoom table read of my original pilot titled Siblings. And please leave comments, share it with your family and friends, and I hope you enjoy it. Interior high school dance night, early 2000s. Finn, 14, smart, neat freak, out, but not overly flamboyant. And his twin sister, Ollie, 14, underachiever, messy, chill, means well, arrive at their school dance. Ollie is dressed in the current fashion while Finn is dressed like a professor. We talked about the bow tie. Mm, it's semi-formal. I think the bow tie is working. Suit yourself. Get it? Because it's a suit? Hilarious, Ollie. Just hilarious. Uh, I'm a... Uh... I'm not gonna go uh, behind you know. bleachers. Yeah, I know. You're welcome to join us, man. I've always wanted to get high with you. I feel like I'd be the kid that dies from doing drugs one time. You don't die from weed. But yeah, you would be that kid. Nick, 14, popular, arrogant bully, walks by them. Hey there, fairy Finn. Nice gay tie. Finn is embarrassed. Ollie stops, goes into mama bear mode. What's your problem, Nick? Nick stops in his tracks. How dare he be challenged? Ollie, it's, it's okay. No, it's not. Uh, my problem is I don't want your fruity twin brother hitting on me. What makes you think you're his type? <laughs> Excuse me? You're not his type. Please, I'm a gift from God. Yeah, white elephant gift. Nick, outwitted and frustrated, leaves. Yeah, walk away, white elephant. You didn't have to do that. He's just going to take it out on me later. I did have to, because no one talks to you like that. I will beat the homophobia out of him if I have to. Thanks, sis. I'll always have your back. Interior lawyer's office, present day. Finn and Ollie, now 34, with distance between them, both physical and emotional, attend the reading of their mother's will. They're outraged by what the lawyer has read. Way to have my back, Ollie. You don't need the house. Mom left the house to both of us. And since I'm leaving Bruno, I need the house. Besides, I'm older. Ooh, by seven minutes, big whoop. I can't even finish Wordle in seven minutes. That's not surprising. Look, I've been living in my car since this disagreement with my landlord, so I, I could use the house. Unlike Bruno and myself, you can clear things up with your landlord. Well, he wants money and I don't have money to give him. Damn it, Ollie, you're 34. When are you going to grow up? Uh, I am grown up. I have the Calm app on my phone. You could live together while you figure things out. <laughs> we haven't spoken in 10 years. Could you imagine? Well, I'd rather live with an influencer. And cold open. Act one, interior house a few days later. Finn and Ollie stand in the living room. It's really come to this. They move in their belongings. Finn has boxes neatly labeled while Ollie has her belongings in trash bags. An array of items spill out, a penis-shaped bong, a My Little Pony lunchbox, tampons, etc. She puts them back in the bag. So which room is mine, Rumi? Can't believe this is happening. I'm not thrilled about it either, but we don't have a lot of options. I'm between jobs and you're a teacher without a sugar daddy. Calling him a sugar daddy demeans our marriage. So does divorce. Finn's best friend, Rio, 34, surprisingly insightful, playboy, but woke AF, brings in the last of Finn's boxes. Thanks, Rio. You can put that over there. You got it, buddy. Rio puts down the box. Rio? Hey, Ollie. Rio and Ollie embrace. You look great. <laughs> you do too. Hey. You two stop that. <laughs> Why do you never want me involved with anyone you know? 
She's my sister, and you're like a brother to me. Chill out, Finn. So we made out in the bowling alley bathroom junior year, but I mean, I think if anything else were to happen, it would have by now. I don't know if that's gross because it's practically incest or because it was in the bathroom at a bowling alley. Rude. Reggie much? Beep. Finn gets an alert on his phone, which is on the table next to Ollie. She grabs it. What's this? Give that to me. Trey tapped you? Oh my god, you're on Grinder. Good for you, man. I was just checking it out. Mm, Trey is Trey hot. Give me my phone back. Finn tries to grab his phone, but Ollie's too quick. Rio looks at the phone. Oh, he's ripped like a Marvel hero. What are Ollie you... scrolls through his phone. What are you doing? I'm reading your profile. That's an invasion of privacy. Relax, it's not your diary, which I bet you still keep in your nightstand drawer. I knew you read my diary. Recently divorced, haven't been on a first date in 12 years. Jeez, why don't you just say mom died too? Well, that would be tacky. Dude, your profile is a bummer. I'm just being honest. Online dating isn't about honesty. It's about swiping and matching. You can be honest in person. Ollie types, Rio supervises. Oh, that's good. Oh my God. Fun-loving bookworm seeks adventurous man. That's it? That's all you need. And hot photos. Guys don't really read profiles, but if they do, they'll see that you're fun and smart. Beep. Trey messaged you. Please let me reply. Why can't you trust me? And sent. Ollie shows Rio the message. Definitely use that line before. Undo whatever you did. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Ollie tosses the phone back to Finn, adding to his frustration. He reads it. How could you do this? You're back in my life for two minutes and you've already- Beep, another message alert. He reads it. Got me a date. You're welcome. Interior, living room, day. Ollie sits on the couch, hi. The place is a pigsty with a variety of snacks and wrappers around her as she watches TV. You know, Three's company is kind of funny. Man, I'm really stoned. Ding dong. Did I order food? Ollie answers the door. Next door neighbor and former classmate Giselle, 34, eager for new friends, super perky, Ned Flanders-esque is at the door with a lasagna. Giselle? Hi, Ollie. I wanted to welcome you back to the neighborhood. And you're a Postmates driver now? Oh, no, I'm not. I made you and Finn a lasagna. Giselle hands Ollie the lasagna. I'm sure you have a lot going on with your mother's passing. My condolences, by the way. Uh-huh. I just thought I could take dinner off your plate for a few nights. I prefer dinner on my plate. Oh, Ollie, you're always so witty. Giselle hears the TV. She walks in. Yeah, sure. Come on in. Oh, I used to love watching this on Nick and Night. Which one is this? Uh, the one where there's a big misunderstanding. I love that one. Exterior, front of house, continuous. Finn and Rio walk up to the front door. So, uh, tomorrow's the big date. Please don't make it a big deal. I'm nervous enough as it is. I need my lint roller. That campus police dog's hair is all over me. I love that dog. Finn is annoyed that the front door is open. Ollie, you can't just leave the door open like this. Interior, living room, continuous. Finn sees Giselle. Oh, Giselle. Hey, how, how are you? I'm good. I brought over lasagna. Well, that's sweet of you. Um, hey, Giselle. Remember me? She doesn't, but she's nice. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey. Finn mouths Rio to her. 
Rio. Yes, Rio from high school. Mm. Nice to see you. She remembers me. Ollie looks at the lasagna. Um, this isn't cooked. You just set the oven for 350 and bake for 45 minutes. Oh my God, that's so much work. Here, Finn, you deal with it. Ollie gives the dish to Finn. Sorry about her. She's well. Tal Bachman at your service. What? That's her name when she's high. Tal Bachman sings the song. She's so high. high, high. Finn puts the dish in the kitchen. Well, this has been fun, but I have to get going. Ali, maybe we can go out for brunch sometime? Why? Because it would be fun. Finn returns. I would think you'd do that with the Ashleys and Amandas. We drifted apart after high school. They're more focused on cultivating the perfect life on social media. It's like all their photos are done by a professional. They are. Just think about it, Ollie. A girl could always use more girlfriends. See you later. Giselle leaves, closing the door behind her. I like brunch. <laughs> Bruh, she's gone. Interior, home, later that day. Ollie comes up to Finn as he grades papers. Hey, Finn, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? I, I found these notes all over the place and I'm concerned. Finn is confused. What is Ollie talking about? Go through mom's clothes. F my life. Empty dishwasher. F my life. Refill ice cube trays? F my life? You're clearly depressed. What? I didn't write F my life. Finn points to the signature. FML. Finn Matthew Lang. Did you forget my initials? Those were notes for you. Things to help around the house. Oh, that makes more sense. But you don't have to sign your notes. It's just the two of us here. So none of that got done. Oh, absolutely not. Well, can you take care of them while I'm out tonight? Oh, your date with Trey. Please don't do that. I gotta go get ready. Are you gonna kiss him? Moving on. I would appreciate it if you kept the house clean. My version of clean or yours? Finn shoots her a look of, really? I'll see what I can do, but I'm working tonight. Work, huh? That's great. Doing what? It's just this part-time remote gig. It's, it's hard to explain, but I have a lot of elite clients and it pays well. Sounds lucrative. Oh, it is. Exterior, front of house, night. Finn returns home with his date, Trey, 30s narcissistic. I have to admit, I was really nervous about this date. Well, I'm glad you said yes. It'll be nice to watch Great British Baking Show with someone. How about every time they say soggy bottoms, we take a shot? Finn opens the door. We'll get drunk if that's pastry we. Interior, living room, continuous. Reveal, the living room is still a mess. Ollie shows off her feet to the webcam as she lotions them. Finn is mortified. These piggies need to get hydrated. Ollie, what the hell? End act one. Act two, interior, living room, continuous. Ollie, startled, frantically tries to clean up. Uh, uh, sorry, fellas, I'll be back. Ollie closes her laptop. She stands up and slips a little because of the lotion. She catches herself. Real nice, Finn. I'm just trying to make a living here. I don't even know where to begin. Um, you have a roommate? I'm his sister. Ugh, lame? I thought we would have some privacy. It's not lame. And... He has a room if you want privacy, has its own door and everything. No, Trey, just wait a minute and we'll, we'll get to the soggy bottoms. 
Wow, soggy bottoms on the first date. Okay, get it, boys. Um, yeah, so this is weird. I'm gonna go. Don't call me. Trey leaves. Thanks a lot. My first date in years, and you chased him away. Excuse me? I didn't know you'd bring him back with you. You cost me serious bucks tonight. And speaking of, what the hell? You're whoring yourself online. Uh, it's a lot classier than you think. It's a fans only for feet fetishes. Yeah, you're the Reese Witherspoon of internet porn. Ding dong. Oh, my door grass is here. Ollie opens the door and the delivery person is there with a paper bag full of weed. Ollie? That's me. Here's my ID. Ollie shows them her ID. Thank you. Enjoy. She smells the bag. I love that I live in a world where I can get weed delivered. And then while I get high from that weed, I can have a pizza delivered. Just as our forefathers dreamt. I need to unwind alone. Can I come? Annoyed, Finn storms off. Hey, did you say you ordered pizza? Yeah, come on in. I'm watching Emily in Paris, but ironically. Interior, car, morning. Finn realizes he forgot his lunch. He makes a U-turn and calls Ollie on speakerphone. Split screen. Interior, Ollie's room, continuous. Ollie is asleep in her messy, somewhat hoarded bedroom. Her ringtone, Austin Powers theme, plays. Come on, pick up. Ollie tries to find the phone in her sleepy haze. She finally finds it and answers the call. What? Hey, I forgot my lunch. I'm about two minutes away. Can you run it out to me? Okay, I'll, I'll be there in 10. Now, Ollie, please. I'm running late. You know I hate being late. Sounds like a you problem. Ollie hangs up and goes back to sleep. Unbelievable. Finn calls her back. Ollie picks up. What? Could you please help me out? Just grab some fast food at lunch. You know I'm on a strict caloric diet and I've pre-added my meals in the Noom app. I have my whole day. All right, all right. Thank you. It's the paper bag. Ollie hangs up. Interior, living room, continuous. Ollie grabs the paper bag from the living room. Honk, honk. Jeez, I'm coming, I'm coming. Exterior, front of house, continuous. Ollie brings the bag to Finn's car. Thanks. Sorry to wake you. Whatever. Finn drives off. Ollie goes back inside. Interior, school hallway, later that morning. Finn makes his way to his classroom. He passes the campus police officer, Dana, 40s, Sirius, and their police dog. Good morning, Dana. The police dog sniffs Finn's bag. Hey there, Finn. What's in the bag? Just my lunch. Rufus must be smelling my BLT. Dana is suspicious based on the dog's reaction. I'd like to take a look. I'm sorry, but I'm already running late. I assure you it's just the run of the mill bag lunch. Dana grabs the bag and looks inside. They get on their radio. Uh, can I get a sub to Mr. Lang's classroom, please? Are you serious? You need to come with me. Interior, home continuous. Ollie looks for her weed. Come on, where is it? She walks by the kitchen and notices a bag. Bingo. Ollie grabs the bag and pulls out what she thinks is her weed. It's a sandwich. I've heard of turning water into wine, but weed into a sandwich? Interior, principal's office. Moments later, Finn sits in the principal's office with Dana, Rufus, and Principal Sanchez, 40s to 50s. The bag of weed has been dumped onto Principal Sanchez's desk. But it's not mine, I swear. Sound like the students. It's not mine, I was holding it for someone. It's for my glaucoma. But it really isn't mine. It's my sister. She must have given me the wrong bag this morning. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Rufus barks at Finn. Stop barking at me. Please don't talk to an officer of the law like that. 
Mr. Lang, I'm going to have to suspend you while we figure out how we are going to handle this. You can't be serious. Bringing drugs on campus is serious. Dana, please show Mr. Lang off campus. I know my way out. Rufus barks at Finn. I'm going, I'm going. Interior, school halls, continuous. As Finn leaves school, he runs into Rio. Finn, I heard what happened. How? It literally just happened. Since when do you smoke? And why would you get high at school? I mean, I get it, but you know. Finn does not find any of this amusing. Interior, living room, later. Ollie watches TV. I'm a knock on a door we've been waiting for. Finn bursts through the front door, seething. You. Oh, hey, bro, you're home early. You are ruining my life. Well, that's a bold statement. Instead of giving me my lunch, you sent me to school with your weed. Oh, that's what happened to it. Are you really that obtuse? I might get fired and it's your fault. Let's calm down. Calm down? You're ruining my life and it's only been a week. You've messed up my whole love life. I, I would hardly call one day to love life, but okay. And now my job is in jeopardy. What is my job is in jeopardy? What? And that's how jeopardy works. Also, that's only two examples. So, they're pretty big examples. Things happen in threes, like sneezes, celebrity deaths, animals. Animals? The three little pigs, Goldilocks and the three bears, three blind mice. So I'd actually have to do one more thing to ruin your life. I can't even have a serious conversation with you. This is all just a misunderstanding, like, like every episode of Three's Company. Life isn't a sitcom, Ollie. Isn't it? Look, I'll go down to the school, get my stuff back, and clear this all up. No, don't. You've, you've done enough. I think you need to leave. All right, I'll, I'll go get a petty while you cool off. No, I want you out of the house and out of my life. And? A third thing? Get out. Ollie walks away, but quickly pops back in. Do you mean like right now? Or like, can I gather some things? Yes, of course. I'm not a monster. End act two. Act three, interior Giselle's house later that day. Ollie is at Giselle's front door, annoyed that it's come to this, asking her for a favor. So... Can I please stay here while Finn cools off? I was going to just stay in my car, but it's pretty cold at night. Of course you can. Giselle hugs Ollie, much to her chagrin. Oh, this will be fun. We can talk, watch rom-coms, oh, do TikTok dances. Nope, this was a mistake. Giselle starts filming from her phone. Get ready for some new dances from me and my bestie, Ollie, later. Bestie? Rio enters from another room, sees Ollie and tries to hide. Rio? Oh, uh, hey, Ollie. Um, what are you doing here? Me? What about you? <gasps> Did you guys, uh, you know? Please don't tell Finn. I don't think you have to worry about that. Finn kicked her out. Oh, good. Oh, um, not that he kicked you out. That's messed up. Just, I know he wouldn't like me and Giselle, you know? Why not? He doesn't like his relationships getting complicated. His best friend and his neighbor. Oh, yeah. One time Rio dated his lab partner. It was a whole thing. Yeah, we lost our chemistry, but it didn't take... It didn't mean it had to affect theirs, you know? Uh, Rhea, would you mind seeing if Finn is still mad? Like, if he really means to kick me out? I don't know what I'll do if he actually does. Well, if it comes to that, you can stay here as long as you need. Dear God, Rio, please go talk some sense into him. 
Interior house later. Finn and Rio on the couch talk. Just thought you should know where she's staying. I don't care where she's staying, just as long as she's not here. Wait, you were at Giselle's? You two aren't... No, 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 no. Come on, man. I was just um, fixing her pipes. That better not be a euphemism. No, no, it's a mephemism. <laughs> Besides, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we got together. Yes, it would. She's my neighbor, and you'll do what you always do, and then I don't, and I won't even be able to borrow a cup of sugar from her. Oh, what do I always do? You charm your way into the bedroom, and once you get bored, you leave, and then they're devastated. Whoa, I don't get bored in the bedroom, and I've never left a woman dead devastated in there either i meant the relationship oh yeah i guess i've done that enough about this hypothetical situation i think you shouldn't be so hard on ollie but she's done nothing but make things hard for me yes her foot thing made your date leave but first dates after breakup suck she did give you the confidence to get back out there Maybe. And the bag of weed is bad. But your cool factor with the students is way up. Ugh. The kids know? Wait, I'm cool? Almost as cool as the coach. That's you. Damn right that's me. I'm sure you'll be fine. Schools are thirsty for teachers. They need you. And so does your sister. Well, I don't need her. You may not have noticed, but cutting off Ollie changed you. What are you talking about? I haven't changed. One of my most admirable traits is my consistency. Uh, it's hard to explain, but the day you chose Bruno and cut Ollie loose, it's like a part of you died. I know you two are so different, but what's the yin without the yang? Whether you like it or not, she helped make you who you are and you her. You make each other the best versions of yourselves. We should all be so lucky to have a person like that. It's annoying how insightful you can be sometimes. <laughs> I know. Ladies love it. Interior, principal's office, day. Principal Sanchez and Ollie sit across from each other. Gee, this takes me back. A lot of time spent here in this office. A lot of time. Miss Lang, did you have something to talk about or did you just want to reminisce over baked goods? Reveal a box of cupcakes on the desk. Please don't fire Finn. I know bringing the weight to school was bad. Believe me, I know from experience, but it wasn't his fault. Even if he had no intention to light up a doobie, as the kids say. They don't say that. A student could have easily taken it. We'd be responsible. A fair point. But you know Finn. He's as square as a rectangle. And I can't have him cut me off again. Your personal relationships are none of my concern. Look, we just came back into each other's lives. I told him not to marry his ex, and then we didn't speak for 10 years. And now he's the only family I have. I'm sorry to hear that. I've been such a crappy sister. I, I ruined his date with my foot fetish cam, and now I might have cost him his job, and there doesn't even need to be a third thing because the first two are so bad. If you fire him, he'll never forgive me, and I don't think I could forgive myself either. I just want to be the sister he deserves. Foot fetish? And he's a great teacher. The students respect him. I mean, do you know how rare that is? The students always do well on state testing. See? Just think about it, please, and, and enjoy the cupcakes. You know, not that it's a bribe. I mean, unless, do you accept bribes? Interior, house, day. Finn vacuums the curtains. There's a knock at the door. He answers it. Ollie is there with a box of cupcakes. Hey, can I come in? 
I suppose. Ollie enters. I wanted to apologize. Okay. I'm sorry my webcam job freaked out your date. And I'm sorry that I didn't double check the bag. And I'm sorry I'm a little bit messy. A little? Okay, a lot messy. But that's the sign of a genius. And for that, I will not apologize. Finn rolls his eyes. So you're staying with Giselle now? Oh, yeah. I'm having a super fun time living with Giselle. Really? No. She's more perky than a soccer mom's boob job. I can't stay there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my mind. And I, I miss you. I've missed you for the last 10 years. I've missed you too. I never told you this, but I think I was so mad at you because deep down I knew you were right about Bruno and I was so desperate to make it work. Do my ears deceive me? Did you just say I was right? Don't gloat. I'm being sincere. Okay, okay. Well, I said what I needed to say. I guess I better get going. One of my foot fetish guys offered me his spare room. No, Ollie. No, no, no. You wanted me out, and I will honor that request. Don't worry. I'll drop you a location pin so you'll know where I'll be. And uh, if you don't hear from me for a few days, you know, then maybe call the cops. Please stay here. I want you here. Oh, thank God. That guy would definitely murder me and keep my feet as a souvenir. You should consider a real job. Maybe. But seriously, I'm, I'm glad you changed your mind. I, I was afraid to tell you that I don't have anyone else I could turn to right now. No one? I mean, I have friends. You know, people like me. But they have families and savings accounts and mortgages. Like, they're like real grown-ups now how dare they well if you could be more considerate of me i think this could work i'll i'll work on that i i promise and you need to help with chores fine throwing things in a closet is not the same as putting them away not to you it isn't I think we can make this functional household with some clear rules and guidelines. Finn grabs a pen and post-it notes. Again with the post-its. Oh, stop. This will be fun. We have very different definitions of fun. Ring, ring. Finn notices the caller ID. It's a school. Finn puts down the post-it notes and answers the phone. Hello? Yes, Principal Sanchez? Good luck. Finn shushes Ollie so he can listen. Yes. Thank you so much. And I promise this won't happen again. I'll see you Monday morning. Finn hangs up. Good news? I didn't lose my job. You're welcome. You did this? I just explained to them that it was my fault. I also made them some cupcakes to sweeten the deal. Please tell me they weren't your famous pot cakes. Jeez, Finn, I'm not an idiot. I mean, yeah, I made some of these for me, but half of them were without weed. I marked the pot-free cakes with pink liners. Finn picks up a cupcake. Ollie, these have pink liners. Interior, teacher's lounge, continuous. A table is full of empty cupcake liners. Principal Sanchez and Dana, unknowingly high, watch Three's Company. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his, Three's Company too. We should start a band. End Act Three. Tag, interior, living room, morning. Finn and Ollie have Giselle and Rio over for brunch. Awesome. I'm happy for you, man. I have Ollie to think. Oh, please. It was nothing. Of course, you got me in the situation to begin with. Well, if you remembered your lunch in the first place. I want to make a toast. 
They all raise their glasses. To our hosts and new friendships. And to Giselle and Rio. Excuse me? Sorry, I forgot. They put their glasses down. It's nothing, Finn, really. Yeah, it's not like we're in a relationship. Wait, you don't think this is a relationship? No, do you? No, 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 of course not. I'm just not used to the woman declaring that. I can't believe you lied to me, Rio, after I specifically asked you not to sleep with her. To be fair, it was before you asked me not to hook up with her, so. Uh, you have no right to say who can and I can't sleep with. That's messed up, Finn. You really need to stop being so controlling. If things go south for you, I don't want it affecting our friendship. So, like, would you never want a relationship with me? Now's not the time, Rio. Rio, you remember what happened with my lab partner, Annie? I just don't understand. Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> to dysfunction. She drinks. End of pilot.